Hello everyone, this is Kylie with Sorrow's Art. Uh, before I go any further into anything, um, I just want to apologize if I start going um, uh, uh, or taking huge pauses in my sentences. Um, I have neurological issues and a learning disability, so it's just that if, if I start doing that, um, I also want to make it clear that I am not a licensed therapist, psychologist, psychiatrist. I don't have any degrees in any of that. This is just going off of life experience. Um, now I want to kind of uh, explain what Sorrow's Art is. Um, it is a class that I am teaching um, that is completely free um, except for you would have to pay for um, your supplies for your art projects. Um, it is dealing with grief in artistic ways. Um, I am a grief poet um, I started getting into that um, about a year after the death of my father. Um, I was his primary caregiver towards the end of his life, and I was in a very bad um, mind space, I guess. Um, I tried grief support groups that wasn't helping me I mean it helped but to a degree um, and I was going to a very small group there was probably only about four of us in the group so um, the group actually ended up um, being closed down um, so I then reached out to um, a local woman in my area um, who was running a grief support, uh, I'm sorry, not a grief support group, a grief recovery group. Um, and that made all the difference in the world to me. Um, and I'll probably start out the projects on this page, um, from what I learned in her class, um, especially for those of you who aren't completely sure, um, who or what you are grieving, because when you hear the word grief, most of the time you associate it with the loss of a loved one, um, and that's not always the situation. You can be grieving anything or anyone. Um, you could be grieving a health issue. Um, I know for myself, I have many health issues. Um, I have a, a chronic pain condition that just has taken a huge toll on my life over the last, uh, 14 years. And, um, I, I grieve, you know, I, I grieve my, my life from, you know, my childhood I grieve, you know, not really having friends because of it. Um, so that that's that's a big thing, and people don't realize that. Um, you could be grieving losing a job. You could be grieving moving away, um, losing a pet, anything, and. You might just think that you're depressed or have anxiety or, 
you know, whatever. And you could really be grieving. And so, um, I, I won't be, you know, giving out any information on actual projects on this video, but the next one I will. Um, I just kind of want to, you know, tell you about the class and give you a little bit of background on myself and, um, just a little bit of background on the class itself. Um, now, um, see, there I go with the pausing. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, now, I, like I said, I, I got into it mainly from the poetry, but then, um, I had, I had, um, different people just kind of suggest other, other things to me, and, um, you know, I gave them tries, and realized that they kind of helped, um, but my main focus was, when I came up with this class, was that if poetry could help me, and I found out that there's, there's a grief poetry website, um, and they, they want to, they want to publish me, um, so, I mean, grief poetry is a big thing, um, so, if, if grief, grief poetry is a form of art, there has to be other forms of grief art that would help others. And it's just a matter of finding that particular art form for you that is going to help you. Um, where some people might take to um, writing a song um, some might take to poetry like me, some might take to, um, drawing, some might take to short stories, um, I mean, painting, it, it depends on you, and, you know, just what was special to you and that person or that situation and you know you you just have to try different things and figure out what's going to work and I mean try it more than once don't just try it once and then be like oh that's crap that's that's not working for me um so that's kind of what drove me to this. Um, I wrote a lot of really sad poems um, about how I felt about my dad after he passed. And then as they were going along, I noticed that they were... Um, getting a little more religious. Uh, my father was very religious. My whole family was. Um, you know, um, I just started noticing that they were getting very beautiful. Um, some were getting funny. <laughs> my father was hysterical. He was like a big 12 year old. Um, and then I could start writing about other things. I had written a poem for my mother and my mother-in-law, for a nephew for my husband. Um, my best friend had me write poem, a poem for her wedding. I read for her, uh, wedding reception. Um, I mean... 
the doors will open for you when you finally find what will work. You know, um, when one door closes, a window opens. And you just have to find that right thing. So, I guess that would be it for this post. Um, and next time, I'll, uh, I'll post, you know, an art project, I guess, and how I started. And, um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please, you know, put them below, um, or email me, I guess, if my email is on here, I don't even know, <laughs> um, and I hope that this takes off and helps some of you, and, um, I look forward to hearing from you guys, thanks, and God bless.